spraying the exterior of your house. It's usually something that most people don't do. But there are certain things that you have to spray, otherwise you'll cause a real problem. You see the soffit here? Come in close. Come in close. Cerca de aquí. You can see that if you were to clog those pores or those vent holes, you would cause a problem by preventing air to go in and out and humidity to escape. So I'm going to use a paint shield. What I don't like about the paint shield is that, in my opinion, most of them aren't long enough. They're not wide enough. The whole idea with the paint shield is to protect this from getting paint on it. And um, if this were wider, you see, when I start spraying, I could go further here. I'd like it a lot longer, but it's not. So that's the only thing I don't like about shields. But you need it, you need it. Secondly, I'm using a Graco 395 sprayer. Just show them the sprayer. I have a separate video on how to load the paint into the machine and to get it to go. Let's come in close on to the gun. I have a contractor grade uh, spray gun right here. I, uh, after I went through my first one, this is the second one for this machine. I got this at uh, Home Depot. Now I'm using a 10 inch extension. You don't have to use it, but in this application, I went from a 30 inch, I took off the 30 inch down to a 10. Coming close. This is a tip that's going to give me a six inch fan. What's a six inch fan? The fan is determined by how wide the spray is. If you hold the tip 12 inches from the surface you're painting. So from right here, I'm going to get a six inch fan, which simply means this as it comes out of the sprayer. Six inches is plenty for a soffit. You don't want to go too wide because you wind up losing a lot of paint. Secondly, just a note on the tip. You see where it says three, one, three? The first number there, the three, has to deal with the number of inches of fan. The next two numbers has to do with the volume of paint that comes out of the orifice. Okay. So, the last thing I want you to know about these things is this. Whenever you're using an extension, you have something called negative pressure. The pump will push the, the paint all the way to the tip and it'll come out until you depress the trigger here. Take your hand off of it what happens is the paint will stop here, but it won't stop here because you have this extension. And what happens is when you stop pressing the trigger here, the paint doesn't stop here for a half a second, about. And what do you get? A spit. It literally will, a little will come out. And so if you're doing a door, with an extension, you want to start off of the door and stop off of the door. Because when you start or stop, it's going to spit. That's all. Here we go. So you can see that I can't go too wide with this. What you'd love to do, right, is to go five feet wide back and forth. 
And so, we have to spray according to that, knowing that, our inability to go too wide. See, I can go wide here because this is not an issue. But here we go, close to where the roof is, we have to be real careful, right? So you do a lot of spurts because you might wind up getting it into an area where you don't want it. Another simple way you can do this is this, watch this. <laughs> I learned this by trial and error. If I just go like this, I can't get it on the roof, right? Unless the wind is blowing against me. So I could theoretically go like this. And I suggest you do the same thing. Unless, of course, the wind is blowing it back onto the roof. But if you're going to be painting the front, this fascia piece, you're going to need a shield. And you can make your own shield. I bought this for about $18. Nice and easy. After a while, after a while you get really good at it. You get to know how far your spray goes and where you have to just pull off so that you don't get it beyond the edge of the shield. Okay, so let's just continue here. Come around. I hate painting outside, especially when the, the terrain is, is not level because you trip easily. I hate it. But anyway, and also, I'm not a big fan of outdoor painting also because of uh, the sun. I was never a fan of the sun. But I think you got the gist of it, okay? If you just bought a house or you're going to buy one, I strongly suggest that you get your own sprayer. This uh, Graco 395 right now will cost you about $850. It's a great tool if you're a do-it-yourselfer. Now, we're getting in a regular pattern. Let's just clear it. I'm going to turn it around and discharge anything that might be in the orifice. In fact, there is. My tip is brand new. Let me increase the pressure. If your pressure is not high enough, you'll get a spray pattern that mimics a clog in the orifice. And it simply might just be that you have to increase the pressure. Let's see. Yeah, I think that's what it was. So I increased the pressure and I'm getting a regular spray pattern.
if you go too thick, if you spray too much on, when you go to put your shield under the lip of that flashing, you may see that you went too thick because that might cut into the wet paint. And I'm trying very hard not to do that so you don't catch any of my bad habits. Okay. Now over here, just so you know, I, I took duct tape and it's the only thing I, after power washing the brick, this stone, I put my regular tape that I use for interior work on the edge, ran a, uh, a uh, plastic through my 3M hand masker. Okay, it's a great tool. I suggest that you get one if you're doing this work. Even a do-it-yourselfer. And then to reinforce the adhesion, I use duct tape. And so this is what we got. Okay, so I, I just hope that's not... Okay, let's just continue. If you go nice and steady, you'll get a very even coat of paint. And if you've never used a sprayer before, what you should do is just practice. Practice on a wall. Practice on... This way you can become familiar with the force that's coming out and how you can manage it, how quick you are or how, it starts getting heavy. This way you don't get any heavy duty drips where you leave the, uh, where you leave the spray on too long. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna have to readjust my paint up here. My, my tape has come off. I'm gonna need a ladder there. It's not gonna do it. Okay, so just to recap, you have your paint shield. I have a 10 inch extension. I have a, a uh, 313 tip here on my Graco 395 airless sprayer. And that's how you spray a soffit and all you need is one coat there. It's a very nice, thick, uh, even coat. If you have any questions about this machine or any of the tools I used in this video, please leave a comment in the section below. I just ask that you click on like and subscribe to my channel and then hit the all button at the top so you get all my video notifications. Thanks a lot, see you on the next one.